let's take a look at the square pyramidal molecular geometry. So when we're looking at the square pyramidal molecular geometry, we note that there are six things, that's the steric number, six things attached to our central atom here. We have one, two, three, four, five atoms, and then we have the one lone pair. So six total things, and one of them is a lone pair. That gives us a square pyramidal molecular geometry. A good example of this is ClF5. So for ClF5, we have our one lone pair here, that's this here, and then we have one, two, three, four, five atoms, these right here. They're bonded to the central atom. So ClF5, because it has those five atoms and one lone pair, it's square pyramidal. Let's look at it in three dimensions. So we'll put our five atoms here, three, four, five, and they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. But then we have that lone pair and that occupies space. So when we put that there, it forces everything down. And that's what gives us our square pyramidal molecular geometry. And you can see the bond angles. They're all 90 degrees. So when we're looking at a square pyramidal molecular geometry, we'll have one, two, three, four, five atoms and a lone pair. Let's go back. If you were using the AXE notation, A, that's the central atom, and then X, those are the atoms that are bonded to that central atom, and then E, that's the lone pair. So we have A, and then one, two, three, four, five, X, five, E, one. We don't write the one, AX, five, E. If you look that up, it's gonna be square pyramidal. This is Dr. B with the molecular shape, the square pyramidal molecular shape. Thanks for watching.